adopt with respect to slip water horizontal hydraulic fracturing in a serious way for about the last three years. And I can tell you that this is not this is not a motion that's just about drilling on patchy campuses or patchy lands. You may think that you are on a campus, and you indeed may be on a campus, where it is unlikely that you would see something like a drill pad on your campus. But, if, but fracking is not simply about drilling, and, and even though this is a drilling process, that it's nasty with respect to cutting trees is not particularly apt, because trees are a renewable resource. But fracking, in fact, permanently destroys water and creates serious air, um, air quality hazards. But part of what is important about this motion is that it also gets to other uh, aspects of fracking infrastructure that could indeed be on your campus. That includes compressor station, pipeline, um, dehydrator, waste pit, uh, not to mention the traffic. Uh, many of us are on very rural campuses as we are at Bloom where you could imagine, for example, waste haulers, sand trucks, uh, derrick rigs on your two-lane highways with your college students trying to get to school. Um, I write a series on fracking for Raging Chicken Press and Shale Shock and Shale Delta like to see what this looks like. So I live 20 minutes, between 20 and 40 minutes from everything on this list. If you'd like to really see what this looks like, drive out to Bloom, get in my car, and I will take you to frack pads that are 45 seconds from elementary schools. I'll take you to compressor stations that are producing air quality hazards that will generate childhood asthma. I think it's our moral duty as a union to look beyond our own narrow parochial interests even as a union and as important as those are and we heard about them this morning because the larger picture here is that it is inconsistent with the mission of higher education to be a party to something that contributes so significantly to climate change. Methane is a serious greenhouse gas. All pipelines leak. Almost the argument for jobs is a faulty argument. The argument that this is merely a transition fuel on the way to alternatives, that is absolutely not the way the industry sees it. And if you think that the price of natural gas is going to stay low, that's going to change, I guarantee it, the moment that we're hooked up to export depots. That's coming. So not only would I urge us to support this policy, but I would urge you on your individual campuses to strongly discourage your campus presidents from converting, we want to convert our coal burners, convert them to biomass, not natural gas. It's inconsistent with our mission.